currently there is a clear disconnect between the fundamentals of REITs on one hand and their share prices on the other. REIT cash flows keep on growing, dividend keeps getting hiked because REIT balance sheets are the strongest they've ever been so they are not heavily impacted by the surge in interest rates but at the same time they greatly benefit from the surge in inflation because it leads to higher rents but despite that REIT share prices just keep on dipping lower and lower. They are now down about 30% on average since the beginning of 2022. Now we're getting back into earnings season. REITs are reporting their first quarter results and once again most REITs are reporting very strong numbers, strong guidances, good growth rates and despite that their share prices just keep dipping lower. I think that this is leading to a lot of very attractive buying opportunities for long-term oriented investors who now get to buy real estate at a large discount to its fair value through the REIT market but which one are the best opportunities today? Hey everyone, this is your CI, I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about two specific REITs that we've been buying lately because they just reported strong first quarter results for 2023. But despite that, their share prices are heavily discounted. But before I get into it, I want to remind you that the free trial is currently active for a REIT newsletter. I'll put a link somewhere in the description of this video. It's a two week free trial, no commitment. You won't be charged anything. It will give you access to my entire real money REIT portfolio free of charge. And also, if you could please like this video, if you find the content valuable, valuable that will help me a lot. Thank you very much. So the first read I want to discuss here is called Armada Hoffler, ticker symbol AHH. We have previously described this read as a quasi apartment read because about 50% of its portfolio as measured by its NAV is invested in apartment communities. These apartment communities have performed really well in the past years. They've really dominated the company's fundamentals and that's really been the main story in our opinion. Moreover, as the company keeps developing and acquiring more apartment communities and and their rents keep on growing, its allocation to this sector is probably going to keep on growing even higher. This is important to consider because apartment communities are today doing really well. One consequence of the surge in interest rates is that it has made home ownership unaffordable for most people. It has grown the pool of renters and since it takes time for new supply to hit the market, it has allowed apartment landlords to greatly boost their occupancy rates and their rents. Armada Hoffler just released its first quarter results for the year. Its same property NOI grew by over 5% which remains a solid organic growth pace and this allowed the REIT to hike its dividend by another 3%. But despite that the market doesn't seem to care. Its share price has kept on dipping lower. It's currently about 40% below pre-COVID levels despite paying a higher dividend today. We think that the market is discounting this REIT so much because it doesn't seem to care about the apartment communities as much as us. Instead it's focusing on the other half of the portfolio which is mostly invested in retail properties and office buildings. Now I agree with the market that these properties are not quite as desirable but I don't think that these are horrible assets either. The retail properties are mostly service oriented strip centers that are quite resilient and generate a lot of predictable cash flow that also keeps on rising today. And then the office buildings obviously they have greater risks especially today but even here I think the market is overreacting a bit because these are class A modern new built mixed use type office buildings and these are the office buildings that are performing the best today. And so here we are faced with a situation where the market is stubbornly focusing on the office buildings, the retail component of the REIT. It's forgetting about the multifamily which is performing so well and allowing the company to grow its same property NOI so rapidly. And as a result today the REIT is very heavily discounted. It's trading at just around eight times FFO, an estimated 40% discount to its net asset value, a dividend yield in excess of 7%. That's a very low valuation if you compare that to pure play apartment REITs which typically trade at closer to 15 to 20 times FFO, so more than double that of Armada Hoffler. Obviously Armada deserves to trade at a discount because it's not a pure play yet but what I suspect is that as its allocation to apartments keep on rising the market will slowly transition its perception from seeing it as a diversified REIT to closer to an apartment REIT and with that its FFO multiple is also going to adjust closer to that of the apartment REIT pure group. And so for this reason I really like the risk reward of this REIT. It essentially allows us to buy an interest in this portfolio of apartment communities at a very large discount because the market doesn't like the other segments of this portfolio and it's causing the entire company to be heavily discounted. Just for the shares to return to where they were before the pandemic they will need to rise by over 50% from here and while you wait you earn a 7% dividend yield. As a reminder the company is actually paying an even higher dividend today than before the pandemic so I think it's quite reasonable that we're gonna see a repricing closer to that level in the future. Then the second read that we've been buying lately is called Whitestone read ticker symbol WSR. This is a read that we've highlighted before on the channel. It's a small 
little cap that specializes in service and grocery oriented strip centers or these are retail properties and since the market hates anything retail it's causing the company's valuation to be heavily discounted but i like this read because it really owns the right type of retail as i said these are service grocery oriented properties think of your local grocery store where you drive on a weekly basis the landlord has probably been there for for decades it's still earning steady rent checks month after month it's e-commerce resistant it's recession resistant for the most part and this specific portfolio is very attractive because it's mostly located in rapidly growing sunbelt markets like phoenix and austin and its rents are today deeply below market this provides whitestone an opportunity to hike its rents very significantly as leases gradually expire in the first quarter of this year it was able to hike its rents by 13 percent on average on expiring leases over the past quarter this has been also between 10 and 20 percent it was also able to reaffirm its guidance for same property noi growth it's really leading its entire peer group but despite that the company is heavily discounted today trading at an estimated 40 percent discount to its nav just eight times ffo i think that this is way too low for a company of this quality with sunbelt assets that are experiencing strong same property noi growth i've talked quite a few times to the ceo of this street over the past quarters we've posted some exclusive interviews on our read newsletter hired landlord again there's a link for a free trial in the description if you want to read them but in short really i like what they are saying they have a clear path to unlock value for shareholders they're planning to sell some of their assets to prove their value to the market on one hand and then they can use those proceeds to pay off some debt removing some of the concerns of the market and making it an even safer read once again here just for the company to return to its net asset value its share price will need to rise by 50 to 100 percent depending on your estimate of the nav even taking a conservative estimate based on quite a bit higher cap rates there's a lot of upside here and while you wait you're in a near six percent dividend yield which is sustainable in our opinion and therefore i really like the risk to reward so these are two rates that i'm buying at the moment they just posted strong results the market doesn't seem to care at the moment but over the long run i'm confident that patient investors are going to be richly rewarded now if you want to access all my other REIT holdings feel free to join my REIT newsletter for a two-week free trial there's a link in the description of this video and otherwise once more if you could like this video that will help me a lot i appreciate your support thank you very much. Bye-bye.